Hello and today I'll be taking a look at the Marvel's Curse figure from Thor The Dark World. I picked this up for about 5 or £6. There's quite a lot of these on the shelves at the moment and they didn't make too many different versions of figures either, characters from the movie. There's only about four or five um, and some of them are pretty hard to get hold of but I picked this one up, thought I'd have a quick look to see if it's any good or not. Um, let's take a quick look at the packaging from Hasbro in the 118th scale size. A picture of Thor, doesn't look too much like Chris Hemsworth, um, nothing on the bottom, nothing on either of the sides and on the back just a pretty plain looking packaging, does show you that Loki's in the line, very rare, you're not going to find many of him and Thor, I wasn't too happy with the look of this character so I didn't pick one up, the paintwork on the face of all the figures that I saw was very sloppy um, and didn't look very good at all so I just left them where they were but this one I thought he looks okay I'll pick him up uh, and see what he looks like so let's get him open and see if he's worth the cash and here he is fresh out the packaging before we actually look at the figure if we look at the one amazing accessory that he seems to come with he does hold it in his hand which is also a bonus um, let's see if I can get this into focus on the camera and it is one of those small black hole grenades and it is detailed for how small it is no other paintwork other than the colour that it's moulded in uh, but it does look quite nice probably going to lose it or get it sucked up the hoover or whatever I don't know you're not going to have it for very long I'd imagine but he does hold it in his hand nice and firmly so next if we go on to the figure itself if we start with paintwork he does have this detailing all around his head few of these like marks like spirals that go on here um, the paintwork on his horns not done to the best of the Hasbro's ability unfortunately it doesn't even go all the way round to the back on some of them quite scruffy there um, same with the front look it just doesn't go all the way round to the back this this paintwork which is a shame really for the figures, I mean they might have shifted a few more if they'd put a little bit of effort but if you can see that through the packaging it's going to put you off straight away the tusks on the front, again no paint work the eyes are painted just a black the teeth are painted and a little bit of decoration on the chin down to the torso and we have a few of these red splodges here which again painted not very well another splodge here, these horns on the side of the shoulder pad aren't painted very well you're spotting a pattern here because I certainly am not painted very well same not painted very well not painted at all on the skirt apart from the extra grenades that are on the front which are a lot more tinier than the one he actually comes with no painting on the buckle no painting down to the legs apart from the issue number and that's it so paintwork on this figure is thumbs down very very poor indeed like for the sake that they've actually put paintwork on it they might as well just send it out as a blank figure and let people paint them themselves at this because it's just shocking nothing at all on the back sculpt work of the figure it is sculpted nicely there is detail on the head like a meshy pattern um, and detail all in the face so it looks like the character um, and the horns on all sculpted nicely a good texture throughout all the way down the skirt bit to make it look like a broken ripped leather that's done well down to the legs again sculpted well needs the paint though because look you can't even see that these are supposed to be boots or armor on any part of the figure um, so sculpt work done well paint work might as well give it half a point out of ten um, if we go on to articulation, the head is just on a peg, so we can get a forward, uh, sorry, a down, an up, a left, and right. No, not impeded at all there. Shoulders are on a peg and a hinge, but they don't go very high due to the sculpt of the shoulder armour. They do go down. Um, can't get it in but you can get it to go out slightly so across the chest though it can manage that due to the hinge and peg in the elbow nothing in the wrist and then down to the waist no ab crunch no twist nothing there for articulation 
and then if we come to the legs, the legs are on a peg and a hinge and then another peg into the thigh. Can get it out to the side slightly but it just pushes it back down due to this material on the side. The knee is on a peg and a hinge which is good. You get 90 degrees out of that but like I say you just can't get it forward unfortunately and then we, from the other last Thor figures we've actually lost the articulation in the foot as well so these figures even at four pounds not very good not a very strong figure um, I mean if you end up seeing them in a bargain bucket for like a pound maybe you could pick it up but just be aware that if you do want one of these figures you're probably going to have to touch up the paintwork not going to be able to get him in too many poses other than standing upright holding his grenade and that's about it so there he is marvel's curse from thor the dark world in 1 18th scale not a very good figure not very well painted not very well articulated not really worth buying just unless you see it for really cheap thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time for more raw pain reviews Thank you.